I'm Daxon Geldmacher, and I'm currently majoring in digital cinema productions. So for my capstone, uh, I wrote and directed a short surreal horror film called A Gaping Wound, A Grinning Mouth. My film is about a young uh, theater actress named Avery Zhao, who has recently found success in the theatrical world, but now finds herself trapped within a nightmarish play where she will be forced to choose between her career and her life. So the concept was inspired by uh, a handful of things. Uh, part of it is I just, I have a love both for like theater and uh, films that have a sort of play-like atmosphere, particularly in their set design, like, uh, like Wes Anderson, especially with Asteroid City, or uh, you could also point to, say, Bo is Afraid with its theater segments. Uh, I also was really inspired by uh, some video games, such as like Silent Hill. Uh, in fact, I had the idea originally in like the middle of July when I was playing Silent Hill 2 all day, and then I took a nap, and I had the worst nightmare after playing that game, and I woke up with a bunch of imagery, and I started writing, and that's how this movie, that's how I started writing this movie. So uh, when you're making a capstone in the film department, there's, it, it depends also what, what goes into it depends also partly on what track you're in. I'm in the directing track, so no matter what, I have to like direct my movie. Uh, but this also involved writing it, as I said, which I wrote it over the course of about four to five months. I've been, I was working on the script. I then also had to do a lot of meetings with to gather crew and producers. For this particular project, I had to work with my producer in building an actual set and uh, designing a lot of special effects for it. Uh, I had to go on casting, which involved, that was mostly going online, sending out casting calls, and then going through the 30-something auditions and finding out people I liked, and then doing rehearsals with those actors, as well as uh, getting my director of photography and working with him to design exactly what the movie should look like design exactly what shots we're going to do, uh, design, decide exactly what camera we're using, what equipment we're using, and so yeah, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot, it's a lot of moving parts, and, but now that we've shot it, we're moving on to the second part, which is where I'm going to work with my editor and my post-production team to put all the footage together, add some sound effects, add some music, add our visual effects, uh, color grade, and hopefully come out with something that's pretty good. Yeah, so for people who are just entering the film program, the, the biggest piece of advice I'd give is start, tr get on sets as fast as you can. That's where you find the people you like to work with. That's where you find what roles you like to do. I, I started college in 2020, so I couldn't uh, even get on a set until like my f uh, fourth semester of school. And I, uh, so anyone who's starting out, you really have like a privilege of like getting to jump on it and getting on sets as early as you can. And most importantly, by getting on sets and working, you'll find out who you like working with, and that's the best thing about film school, is if you do it right, you'll end school knowing who your collaborators for the future are going to be and how you want to collaborate with people. Uh, if, I, if, if nothing else, even if all my projects end up being bad, school is a success for me because I now have a key team of collaborators who I want to be involved with on everything they do and they want to be involved with everything I do. Uh, I can only really speak to how film capstones work but in general I imagine it's, it's similar across uh, majors. Uh, I would recommend start brainstorming as soon as you can as well just because it's it's a lot of work and the sooner you start getting that prep work done, the more effective you can be in creating what your capstone is. But as the flip side of that is I would say don't be married to whatever you brainstorm because things change. Sometimes your passions will change. Sometimes situations change. So you have to be ready to pivot. But if you've done the planning and the brainstorming, you have the tools to pivot better than if you're just coming up with everything on the fly the year of. So the film is going to be done in April, and we're going to be doing a big red carpet premiere. You, you view it as a big red carpet premiere for all of the, the uh, capstones. So we'll be premiering it at that red carpet that will be shown at the uh, the Megaplex down in Vineyard, Utah. Afterwards, 
I will, I'm gonna submit to film to a couple of festivals, so it'll likely go on the festival circuit, uh, fall 2024, and then by spring 2025 <laughs> is when it'll actually be on, like, YouTube and stuff. Uh, but I also, uh, I, I also have, on those channels, I also like to post a lot of other projects, and I'll be posting a lot of updates about the project itself, and, like, what festivals it's going to in the fall. So hopefully people can either go to the UVU premiere or whatever festivals you can find. If more people want to see my work, uh, you can find me on Instagram as a Dax Geldmacher, or I'm also on Facebook just as Dax and Geldmacher. Uh, I also have a YouTube channel that I uh, will occasionally upload longer videos to, but the Instagram's the best place to go to to find my recent work and to contact me. Mm -hmm.